Do you want to know the key to functional, practical flexibility? Well, it's this. You've got to get strong at your maximum range of motion just like this. And that's exactly what we're training for here in session 20. We've been at this for about seven weeks now. So even though the sessions are, are quite challenging, the workload should be pretty much just right for you to see small but regular improvements in your strength at your maximum range of motion. In fact, during these advanced sessions, you might start to approach or, or actually enter the full side splits. However, if this is the first time you've seen the strong side splits program, you really need to train up from the first video in the program to reduce your chance of injury and increase your chance of success. And if you have trained up from session number one, that's great. Let's get into it. Let's get straight into session 20, starting with our warm up and stay focused now, even during the warm up, so that you can prepare yourself to make the most out of this session to get the best out of your training today. Okay, 30 squats, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty to go. 11, really focus on great technique. 12, 13, 14, take it lower. 15, take your feet wider as well. 16, 17, 18, 19, stay focused. 20, we've got 10 to go. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, five to go. 26, 27, 28, 29 and last one 30 okay great work with the first warm-up exercise let's get straight into the second one ham spines and again stay focused you don't need to smash yourself in a warm-up but you do need to perform excellent technique okay 30 ham spines one two focus on your hamstrings three keep your back straight four five shoulders back and look up Six, keep your chin up as well. Seven, eight, engage your hamstrings first. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, we're halfway, so take it a bit further. 16, 17, see if you can take the stretch lower. 18, 19, 20, we've got 10 more to go. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, five more to go. 26, 27, still stay focused, 28, 29 and 30. Excellent. Well done. That's our second warm up exercise done. Let's move into our third warm up now elbows, knees. And we've got 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20 to go. 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, halfway, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, great work with your third warm up exercise. Let's get straight into our fourth warm up exercise, our side squats. And with your 15 side squats, remember to stay focused. Okay, let's go. One and one, two and two, stay focused, three and three, work that great technique, four and four, five and five, six and six seven and seven breathe in going down eight and eight we're past halfway now breathe out going up nine 
and nine, ten, and ten. We've got five more to go. Eleven, and eleven, twelve, twelve, thirteen, thirteen, fourteen. 14, last side squats coming up, 15, and 15. Okay, great, side squats are all done. Let's move into our fifth warm-up exercise now, our side leg-ups. 20 side leg-ups now for both legs, and I'll remind you again to stay focused, think about what you're doing, and make sure each rep is warming up your target muscles, your adductors. Let's go. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're halfway, ten more to go. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, and 20. Okay, let's work through the other leg now. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, great work with your side leg ups. Let's complete the warm up now with our front leg ups. And we have 20 front leg ups for our last warm up exercise. So do your best to get the most out of these because after this, we're going straight into our actual stretching exercises. And one, two, three, four. Focus on stretching your hamstrings. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, keep your back straight, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, let's get the other side done now. One, two, three, keep your back straight still, four, five, six, control that leg, seven, Eight, really try not to swing your leg. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, and 20. Okay, great, that's the whole warm up done. Let's get ready to move into the first exercise of the first cycle of today's session our side splits and pancake. Okay, slide your feet out wider in a long eccentric contraction and pause every few seconds in an isometric hold. We're going to aim at 20 seconds down and then 10 seconds for the pancake splits. And it's your first rep, so you don't have to push yourself too far. Okay, that's 20 seconds, so get yourself seated back with your back straight and then lean forward into your pancake splits. Let's get straight into our second rep now and we have 20 seconds again to lower ourselves down in a long eccentric contraction, pausing when we need to in an isometric hold. So slide out wide and then hold, slide out wide and then hold. Okay, that's 20 seconds, so seat yourself down again into the seated splits and then lean forward with a straight back into our pancake stretch. 
Okay, third rep, and really focus on a controlled eccentric contraction. So your adductors, uh, they're still contracting, but only enough to stop you from really racing down fast into your max ROM, okay? You're gonna ease into your max ROM. And again, every few seconds, pause and hold yourself there with an isometric hold. Okay, that's 20 seconds again, so seat yourself back with a straight back and lean forward into your pancake splits. Okay, fourth rep, ease down again, making sure you've got great control. Remember, you can always put your hands down as soon as you need to so that you're not overstressing your adductors. Okay, seat yourself back into your seated side splits, that's 20 seconds, and then lean forward into your pancake splits again. Remember to keep your back straight so your stretching load is on your adductors, not your back. Okay, fifth rep now, and continue to take yourself eccentric down and then isometric hold. And I know these are hard, but there are massive benefits for both our strength and our flexibility to do multiple reps like this. You know, five reps over two minutes 30 rather than one single rep over two minutes 30. And that's 20 seconds, so you can sit back again into your seated side splits and then lean forward to do your last pancake splits. Okay, let's get into these side leg ups. Stay focused, make sure you're stretching your adductors on the inside of your hips, okay? And make sure you're lifting your leg with great control. Lift your leg with your abductors on the outside of your hips. Let's go. And one, two, we're aiming for 31. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, stay controlled, 11, 12, always controlled, 13, 14, no swinging your leg, 15, 16, 17, 18, controlled leg up, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, use your abductors, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, one more to do, 31. Okay, great work with the first leg. Let's quickly change it over and finish the other leg now. One, two, aiming for 31 reps. Three, four, five, six, seven, keep that great control. Eight, nine, 10, stay focused, 11, 12, 13, we're stretching our adductors, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 10 more to go, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and 31. Okay, you've done really great with that set. Keep it up and we'll move straight into our next stretching exercise, our knee splits with no hands. Okay, when we do knee splits with no hands, all of the weight and work is on our adductors almost exclusively. So just be really careful. All right, so don't take this stretch too far yet until you really know what you can handle. And let's do our 31 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, focus on your adductors. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, we're past halfway, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and 31. Great job finishing the first set of knee splits. Let's move straight into our next exercise, our side squats. And we do have a bit of spare time now, but always use any extra time like this 
to get into position for the next exercise so that you don't feel rushed, okay? So rather wait and be ready at the start of an exercise than wait at the end of a previous exercise. All right, start with your feet wide and we'll do 31 reps for both sides. Just make sure you're getting a great stretch with each rep, okay? So you really need to set your feet wide and go as low as you can, as low as you safely can. And one, one, two, two, keep it intentional, three, three, always intentional, four, four, Five, five, so keep it deliberate. Six, six, think about what you're doing. Seven, seven, so really get a great stretch out of this. Eight, eight, nine, nine, remember to contract your adductors. Ten, ten, eleven, eleven, contract in the stretch. Twelve. 12, 13, 13, 14, 14, 15, 15, 16, 16, we're past halfway, 17, 17, keep it up, 18, 18, 19, 19, 20, 20, 21, 21, we've got 10 more to go, 22, 22, 23, 23, 24, 24, keep that great control, 25, 25, 26, 26, 27, 27, 28, 28, we're almost there, 29, 29, 30, 30, one more to go, 31, and 31. Okay, great work, you finished the first cycle of this session. Keep it up and let's get straight into our second cycle now, starting with our full side splits again. Okay, let's do this again. It's our first rep of our side splits and pancake stretch. So set your feet wide and slide eccentric down and then pause with an isometric hold and you can always use your hands to take your weight when it gets too much. Okay, that's 20 seconds. So sit back into your seated splits and then lean forward into your pancake splits and make it a stretch for your adductors, not so much your back. And that's 30 seconds, so let's get straight into our second rep. Again, slide eccentric down and pause for an isometric hold. And you can repeat the slide and hold until you're at your max ROM. And see if you can take your max ROM a little bit further this time, now that we're in our second rep of our second set. Okay, that's 20 seconds, so sit back into the seated splits again, and now lean forward into your pancake split. And remember, when you lean forward, that's for your adductors, not your lower back. Okay, second set is done. Let's do our third rep now. So slide out eccentric again and pause again with an isometric hold and repeat slide out, hold, slide out and hold. And when you get to your max ROM, you can wait. Okay, that's 20 seconds. So let's sit back into our seated side splits and then lean forward again for our pancake splits. And just remember to keep a straight back so that the stretch is on your adductors. Okay, we're doing great. Let's do our fourth rep now. Eccentric down, okay? So your adductors are lengthening under load. They're getting longer under load. And then isometric hold, so your adductors have got you locked there. And keep repeating that until you're at your max ROM. Twenty seconds, okay, so sit back into the seated splits and then lean forward into your pancake splits, making sure that you stretch your adductors, not your lower back. 
Okay, last rep now, rep number five. Ease down eccentric again. Pause with an isometric hold every few seconds and see if you can take this stretch a bit further. You should be really warmed up now, so it should be quite safe. Just don't strain anything. And that's 20 seconds, so sit back again with a straight back and then lean forward for your last pancake stretch. And with our second set of 31 side leg ups, again, make sure you're lifting with your abductors. Remember the muscles on the outside of your leg. Lift with them. Really make sure you're not throwing your leg by swinging your arms or, or your body. Initiate with your abductors to lift. Okay, make your abductors do the work. Let's start. One, two, three, four, five. We're going for 31, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Keep it controlled. Fifteen, sixteen. We're past halfway. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. We've got ten more to go. Twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. Keep it controlled. Twenty-seven. 28, 29, 30, 31. Excellent. Let's do the same for the other leg now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Always control. 7, 8. No swinging your leg. 9, 10, 11, 12. Use your abductors. 13, 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, keep it up, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and 31. Great work with your side leg ups. Let's use the time now to get ready for our next exercise, our knee splits. Okay, second set of knee splits with no hands, so your adductors are doing all of the work. Now this is an important warning from the demo video. Just take it easy. If you set your knees too wide before removing your hands, you're really at risk of being injured, okay? So just take it easy and only do what you know you can handle. Let's start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've got 21 to go. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Keep your back straight. 21, 22, 23. Keep your back tall. 24, 25, 26. Push your hips forward. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Excellent again. That's really great work. You've finished the second set of knee splits. So let's go straight into our next exercise, our side squats. And with our 31 side squats, do your best to actually go into a stretch before you squat out into the next rep, okay? So make sure you get that stretch. Let's go. One, one, two, two. Focus on great technique. Three, three, four, four. Really get that stretch. Five, Five, so stretch before you lift. Six, six, seven, seven. Squat out after the stretch. Eight, 
eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, twelve, thirteen, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen, sixteen, sixteen. We're past halfway. Seventeen, seventeen. Keep your technique great. Eighteen, eighteen, nineteen, nineteen. Keep it up. Twenty, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-one. We've got ten more to go. Twenty-two, twenty-two. Twenty-three, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-five. We're almost there. Twenty-six, twenty-six. There's five more to go. Twenty-seven, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-nine, thirty. Thirty. One more to go. Thirty-one, and thirty-one. I know that was a lot. So well done. Finishing your second set of side squats. Keep up the great work by moving into the final cycle of exercises, starting with the most important stretch, the full side splits. And this is our third set of side splits now. So really do your best to take the stretch out as wide as you can without going into pain. Okay, just take whatever discomfort you can safely handle. Keep your hands up and out of the way until you really can't handle your maximum range of motion. Okay, we've got 10 seconds left, so move into the seated side splits with a straight back, and then lean forward into the pancake splits with a straight back as well. And that's 30 seconds. So let's get straight into our second rep. Again, slide eccentric down and pause for an isometric hold. And you can repeat the slide and hold until you're at your max ROM. And see if you can take your max ROM a little bit further this time. Now that we're in our second rep of our second set. Okay, that's 20 seconds. So sit back into the seated splits again, and now lean forward into your pancake split. And remember, when you lean forward, that's for your adductors, not your lower back. Okay, second set is done. Let's do our third rep now. So slide out eccentric again, and pause again with an isometric hold, and repeat: slide out, hold, slide out, and hold. And when you get to your max ROM, you can wait. Okay, that's 20 seconds. So let's sit back into our seated side splits, and then lean forward again for our pancake splits. And just remember to keep a straight back so that the stretch is on your adductors. Okay, we're doing great. Let's do our fourth rep now. Eccentric down. Okay, so your adductors are lengthening under load. They're getting longer under load, and then isometric hold. So your adductors have got you locked there. And keep repeating that until you're at your max ROM. Twenty seconds. Okay, so sit back into the seated splits, and then lean forward into your pancake splits, making sure that you stretch your adductors, not your lower back. Okay, last rep now. Rep number five. Ease down, eccentric again. Pause with an isometric hold every few seconds, and see if you can take this stretch a bit further. You should be really warmed up now, so it should be quite safe. Just don't strain anything. And that's 20 seconds. So sit back again with a straight back, and then lean forward for your last pancake stretch. And with our third set of side leg ups, again, make sure you're lifting with your abductors. Remember the muscles on the outside of your leg. Lift with them. Really make sure you're not throwing your leg by swinging your arms or, or your body. Initiate with your abductors to lift. Okay, make your abductors do the work. Let's start. One, two, three, four, five. We're going for thirty-one, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Keep it controlled. Fifteen, 
16, we're past halfway, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, we've got 10 more to go, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, keep it controlled, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Excellent. Let's do the same for the other leg now. One, two, three, four, five, six, always control, seven, eight, no swinging your leg, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, use your abductors, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 18, 19, 20, 21, keep it up, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and 31. Great work with your side leg ups. Let's use the time now to get ready for our next exercise, our knee splits. Okay, for our third set of knee splits, you can use your hands to get into position, but like I do, just remember not to go too far unless you know you can really handle it. Okay, when you're all stretched out and all your weight is supported by your adductors, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. We've got twenty-one to go. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Keep your back straight. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Keep your back tall. Twenty-four, twenty-five. 26, push your hips forward, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Excellent work. Let's finish this third cycle now with our third set of side squats. And with our 31 side squats, do your best to actually go into a stretch before you squat out into the next rep, okay? So make sure you get that stretch. Let's go. One, one, two, two. Focus on great technique. Three, three, four, four. Really get that stretch. Five, Five, so stretch before you lift. Six, six, seven, seven. Squat out after the stretch. Eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, twelve. 13, 13, 14, 14, 15, 15, 16, 16. We're past halfway. 17, 17. Keep your technique great. 18, 18, 19, 19. Keep it up. 20, 20, 21, 21, we've got 10 more to go, 22, 22, 23, 23, 24, 24, 25, 25, we're almost there, 26, 
26, there's five more to go. 27, 27, 28, 28, 29, 29, 30, 30, one more to go. 31, and 31. Okay, that's your third and final set of 31 side squats all done. Yes, they're not meant to be easy, but you finished them, so well done. And while you have finished all three cycles of exercises, we've still got one last really important stretching exercise, our max hold of our max ROM. So we're gonna ease down into our maximum range of motion in the side splits, and then hold ourselves there suspended without using our hands on the floor and suspended longer than we did last time. Okay, do your best. And done, that's it for session 20, the second advanced session of the Strong Side Splits program. And if you're anything like me, well, finishing each of the advanced sessions feels like a real accomplishment. And I should say that objectively too, if you've observed real increases in your flexibility and increases in your strength at your maximum range of motion, then you really have accomplished something. Yeah, if you have seen real progress over the last seven weeks or so, then all of the training that you've done is an accomplishment so well done and on that note for today's tip i want to remind you about how you can continue to accomplish more improvements i mean improvements in your strength at your max rom as you get closer to your side splits and it's similar to what i kept saying throughout today's session to stay focused because focus is one of the keys that define intelligent repetition okay i really encourage you to stay aware of what you're doing rather than getting distracted you know the most common type of distraction is is very passive right you're just letting your mind wander but i don't think that's what most people experience while training i think they stay quite present and their mind won't really wander in a passive sense but more that they focus on the wrong thing or they focus on something that's less important. And in regards to our training here, I know you might be kind of tempted to just work through a set of reps, focusing on the quantity of reps. I mean, just the rep number. And in that way, the session becomes kind of like I said before, more of an aerobic workout. You might even feel with all of the puffing and sweating and, and the burning muscles that you're really training hard. And yeah, in a way you are, but not in a way that's gonna get you really closer to your goal. So with all of that said, you wanna focus on completing each exercise with correct technique, of course, and you know it's correct if you're purposefully contracting your target muscles in a stretch, okay? And these exercises, the, the final exercises that we're using in the advanced sessions, each of them allow you to get into your max ROM and then contract there at your max ROM. And as long as you remain focused in the session, you'll be able to do that. Okay, so do let me know how it all went for you in today's session. And if you have any questions, also make sure you subscribe to this channel and check out all of the other 10,000 Method progressive training programs. And then when you come back in two days time to follow the next new video in the series, we'll add one more rep to each of our stretching exercises and continue to train for strong side splits. And as always, stay disciplined.